previously on Scooter Vixen. While we were in Lakeshore Drive, um, we hit so many, like, there was, like, construction on the road. We hit so many stuff that my, look at my trunk went down. Oh, this is not cool. Great. Hey guys, my name is Sarah, aka Scooter Vixen, and today we're going to remove a broken bolt to my handles from my Honda Helix. Uh, so join me as I try for my first time ever to do this. Alright, let's get going. So these are some of the tools that I'm going to use today to fix my rack. I haven't mentioned it, my rack broke. You're gonna have to remove your seat. So you're gonna have to remove this bolt right here and this one. This is where it holds my rack. The one I'm gonna use right here. Lefty Lucy, lefty Lucy, lefty Lucy. <laughs> I work in Crocs. Okay. This way to loosen it up. Yes. Okay, it was just a little snug, guys. It was snug. Okay, we got it. So now I'm gonna use the bottom part, as we learned from the other one, to get this out. I'm gonna hold on to the bar. You can see that. Woo. I'm learning and teaching as I go. Look at that. In case you're wondering what this is right here, it's my disco lights. They're bike lights that I put in here on my handle because I'm extra. Oh, there we go. Just pull after a while, pull because I was just unscrewing for no reason. Oh, so now I got the handle out and that's where there it is the devil that broke wow that was pretty cool so now I know so in order for me not to lose my screws because I know myself I'm just gonna slightly screw this back in here and this one's gonna stay in there and that'll keep me from losing my stuff that can be a little slow sometimes. I'm going to have to place this on the ground so I have to remove my little bike light. my hat on because it's hot and my safety glasses on I know they're like very fashionable you know it's hot when the boobs are sweating Oof. so from the instructions it says that you have to select one of these the, the drill bit that is the closest in diameter to the screw or bolt that snapped as you can see this is the closest one in size that was the number three part right here if you need to read it And I'm going to go counterclockwise, which means that way. Until I make a decent enough hole, one eighth of a hole to get in here. It's pretty flush. Look at that. It's in the middle. As much in the middle as you can. Oh, okay, I see it. You see how so you can see it there. Give it a little center right there. So this is my drill. 
Well, that's actually my dad's drill. Because I don't, I'm starting to buy my own tools. But uh, this one's going right. So we're going to set it to go counterclockwise, which is left. And then I'm going to change the drill bit and then screw in there. All right, so we're going to remove the drill bit that I have here. Take that out. Insert the new one. It's kind of loose. But once I tighten it, it will get nice. It'll get better. I freaked out the first time I was testing it out. I was like, oh my God, this is not going to work. So I was over there, but I had to move over here. It was just too hot and my phone would die. Uh, so let's get back to work. What the shit? <laughs> I didn't even have to use the other tool. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. That is so cool. It came right out. Awesome. It came right out. Look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, handle as well. And then I'm going to keep my rack off until I can figure out um, a bolt solution for this handle so it doesn't break again. Uh, the ones that I bought did not fit because I did not check the measurements. So yeah, that's great for me. Pick me up when it's all over. I even bought a baby hammer and I'm not going to get to use it. If this one comes out like that one did, I'm going to be okay. doing too much pressure on this. There it is, there it is. Yeah, look at that. Excuse my nails, but man, that was cool. The toughest part of all this was having to kneel down. Um, I should have found a table, but oh well, you know. And the sweating, the boob sweat, it's unreal. Oh yeah. So, managed to get both of them out, so that's great accomplishment. <laughs> and this is my first time ever doing it, so if I can do it, you can do it too. Here it is. Both of these. I made a quick run to Home Depot to get my bolts and I also brought my broken bolts and my handlebars with me just in case. Here I am measuring it and then I realized that um, they have other ones where you can actually stick the screw in. So I ended up getting two different sizes just to be safe. I got the 25 millimeter and the 30 millimeter with the uh, M6 washer. So for this inner one, I'm using this one, number five. That's the one that's going in here. Interesting. So I don't know. I'm going to try to bolt this down first. So in the end, I ended up using the 30 millimeter screw and the washer. It was just longer and better. That's what she said.
Look at how gently I'm putting this handle down. I was worried that I was going to scratch baby up. Right now, I'm just going to place this rack on top and position it so that I can start screwing everything back on. I almost forgot to put the custom-made um, wire for my tail lights through the rack because that's how they connect. My friend had uh, custom made these lights so they light up my trunk when I break and turn. Oops. Guess what I forgot to do. I zoned out and I forgot to put the handle back. Whoops. So I don't know if I should screw this hole first. I don't know this one's gonna be long enough so this was the 25 one and it does kind of fit there but look at how much it grabs so i'm gonna try this one i'm gonna try the 30 millimeter one now it's a difference just a little difference but so after trying a few times to get this all screwed up it was just too many moving parts uh, after trial and error, it was just better for me to take out the rack and just screw it all together like one piece and then screw it back so into the scooter. Hopefully that makes sense. Someone said to get um, some washers. So I'm going to figure out if I need even need the washers here. So they said two washers. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and then I'll tighten everything up. So I took the bolts back out for both of these. See, there's no bolts here. And I just lifted it up and squeezed it tight as much as I can. So that way, when I bolt these back in, all I have to do is squeeze it. I also have to take this out and I had to look it up. Um, I would have to put some tool in here and then loosen it up and uh, I don't have that tool right now so this is what I'm doing and this is how I tighten it all right so this is what I ended up doing I ended up tightening this the the new bolt right here with a little washer mm. it's the this one the flat washer m6 metric one stainless steel and I have it here and this bolt right here, I put it right at the edge so that it holds everything at the angle that it needs to be. That way when I place it like this, it's going to be at the angle it needs to be. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing for this side. So see how it holds it at the the spot that it needs to be at like this right there so now i'm going to take this one out and i'm going to put a washer in here and then my washer Oh, shoot. Ah, there it is. Oh, my where did the hole go? This little gap has to face up. So this is what it looks like.
looks like one solid piece. Oh, there goes my bolt. Okay, let's put this back in. I did not expect to be here all night, but with my little uh, <clears throat> two-hour detour at Home Depot, wandering around and checking other things out, I ended up staying here very late. I even had a neighbor ask me, wow, still working on that? And I had to like tell him, uh, yeah, I was gone for like two, three hours. I had to pull that, uh, spread it open a little. Hope that I did this right. Oh, my back. So, I'm going to screw the screws for the other side. By this point, I was tired, I was hungry, it was late, and I just kept going. I kept having issues with the bolt in the back and it was just not going in. I was just starting to become really frustrated. For some reason this is not going in. I might have to go get a new one. I don't know. I've been trying for a long time. After being frustrated last night, I'd asked for my dad for advice and he came to check this out. So I didn't get to film it, but my dad had to come and help me finesse this. For some reason, this side, once I had put all, all the other one, was giving me trouble and wouldn't tighten. So he had to come and help me uh, fix this one. And now it's done, so you just gotta finesse it afterwards and jiggle it around. Because I was helping him uh, hold it and jiggle it. But yeah, there we go. It's all back. My rack is back. Baby. Don't be afraid to ask someone for help. I'm glad I asked my dad or else I would have been really frustrated and probably would have went and bought another bolt and wasted some more yeah. money. I'm so happy that I finally finished putting this. Um, for the most part, I did it mostly myself. It's just that one last um, screw bolt that was giving me trouble and I couldn't get in. I was just too tired, uh, so I gave up. I was about to go buy another another bolt thinking it was the bolt but then my dad came and checked it out and he said that i was i just had to finesse it and move it around um but yeah now to put my trunk back on um so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed bye please like and subscribe i don't post every day so turn on that notification what do you expect i'm a small channel <laughs>